What's up everyone? This is Derek Howes, the Protein Chef, and today we're gonna jump into my favorite season by making my pumpkin protein donuts. These are absolutely delicious, packed with fiber, and you don't need protein powder to make them. So let's jump right into it. First, take out a decent sized bowl, then add in one large egg and three large egg whites, one scoop or 30 grams of a vanilla protein powder, which is completely optional. They'll still taste great without it. Six tablespoons or 45 grams of coconut flour, three teaspoons or 12 grams of light brown sugar, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. If you don't have pumpkin pie spice, you can make your own by pausing your screen right now. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, a fourth a cup or 61 grams of pure pumpkin, half a tablespoon or seven grams of melted coconut oil, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Go ahead and mix everything together. Don't worry if your mix is pretty thick, that's how it should be. Now take out a donut pan, coat it with some nonstick cooking spray, and evenly distribute your mix into it. If you're looking for a cheap donut pan to buy, I'll post a link to mine in the description below. If you want to, you can top your donuts with whatever you want before the oven. If you don't want to top them with anything, put them in the oven on 350 for 10 to 15 minutes. After 10 to 15 minutes, take them out and if you want a quick frosting, Top them with some Greek yogurt. I like to top mine with a bunch of Halloween sprinkles and there are your pumpkin protein donuts. As far as the calories go in the whole recipe, there's 609, 21 grams of fat, 51 grams of carbs, 23 grams of fiber, and 54 grams of protein. So if you make four donuts like I did in each donut, there's gonna be around 152 calories. One substitute, oat flour instead of coconut flour, and if you wanna lower the carbs a bit, you could also use almond flour. Three tips, one, if you're not using a good tasting protein powder, I would add a little sweetener to your recipe. Two, you don't have to use protein powder in this recipe. The calories without it can be found right there. And three, this one is common sense, but if you want more than four donuts, just multiply this recipe to make however many you want. They'll usually last in the fridge around seven days. Before I end this, I just want to say I started writing a little dessert column for Train Magazine a couple months ago. You can see all the ones I've done by clicking right there, but without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to accomplish this. So for all the support you've given me throughout these past years and continue to give me, thank you. All right guys, thank you for watching. If you want some more recipes like this, smash that thumbs up button, everything in moderation, and of course, Healthy stay.